your boy l and i'm back with another reaction how y'all feel welcome back to the channel salute listen bro we back with another video it's about to go down man 15 smartest smugglers like you don't never hear that hand in hand normally it's the dumbest smugglers or the smugglers who got caught or you know what i mean the weirder weirdest way smugglers tried to smuggle things into the u.s or whatever it was man we always see those not the smartest smugglers so i feel like they just playing on words in the title but they still gonna get caught in the video so we're gonna check this out so if you're new to the channel subscribe hit the vlog channel up man leave me a like run the likes up bro that's all run the likes up and let's check this video out salute to y'all too by the way Illegal goods out of one country and into another. Given that those goods are unlawful, smugglers have to get pretty inventive with how they transport them. And they do. Oh my bad. Hold on, y'all. Thought I changed it. Boom. Back in the game. And into another. Given that those goods are unlawful, smugglers have to get pretty inventive with how they transport them. And they do. From cigarettes in tree trunks to goods strapped to people, here are 15 of the smartest smugglers in all history. Number 15. Cigarettes inside tree trunks. A plus for effort. Russian smugglers were trying to think of a way to smuggle cigarettes manufactured in Belarus to Poland, which would then be moved to Germany and then the UK. They decided one of the best methods would be to hollow out tree trunks and stuff packets inside. What they probably didn't anticipate was that the real trees would be a lot heavier than those stuffed with cigarettes. Customs officers at the Yagodin checkpoint at the Ukrainian-Polish border decided to carry out a random check and discovered that one of the trunks had been hollowed out. On closer inspection, they noticed that heaps of them had been hollowed out. They said it was almost impossible to tell the difference, but the weight was a dead giveaway that something wasn't quite right. Inside 27 tons of timber, 55 tree trunks were tampered with and contained 25,000 packets of cigarettes. The find was made on the Ukrainian side of the border and guards used chainsaws to cut into the logs. The cigarettes were tightly packed inside. You gotta hand it to the smugglers, they really put on their thinking caps for this job. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now, it's time for the star topic. When you're doing something illegal, you know you can't do it in plain sight. We all know that drug smugglers can be quite inventive, but some are just on an entirely new level. A smuggling ring managed to import 1,000 kilograms, or 2,220 pounds, of drugs into the United States by stuffing them into car tires, batteries. Y'all know that, like, they factor in these losses, bro, because imagine how, how much stuff they do get through. So they got to factor in, like, yo, we got to, we going to cure some losses, man, so let's just be mindful and bumpers fortunately they were caught how do you think u.s border patrol found the drugs comment down below with the hashtag star topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen probably a dog with that said let's keep things moving number 14 gold inside soap while we wouldn't call these people the smartest smugglers in history, they actually did a pretty good job of hiding gold they shouldn't have had, or should have at least declared. But you just can't beat airport officials who are always on the lookout for people trying to smuggle things into or out of a country. At a Mangalore International Airport, customs officials seized gold granules worth around $325 that a passenger had concealed inside a bottle of chocolate syrup and four soap bars. He had arrived at the airport early in the morning on an Air India Express flight from Dubai. After the discovery, he was arrested. The same thing happened to another man, but on a much larger scale. 
Customs officers discovered more than $50,000 worth of gold inside soap at the Tiruchirappalli International Airport in Tamil Nadu. Y'all know me, I'd be like, how did that? Yo, I had no idea that was in, yo, how did that get there, bro? I thought I was just getting soap. I'm a very clean person, man. You know what I mean? I'd be doing all, I'm a very clean person, man. That's all I was thinking, bro. That's not mine. Matter of fact, you can keep it. Have at it. I'd be trying it all. The smugglers had gone to great effort to hollow out the soap carefully, then formed gold pouches wrapped in black plastic to fill in the gaps. They were then put back in their packaging so that no one would be any the wiser. But they were wise, and that man would have also been arrested for his smuggling efforts. Number 13. Hash Smuggling Oh. Have you ever watched Border Wars on National Geographic? This show is proof that anyone can be a smuggler, even a family. In one episode, they showed a family who looked every bit as innocent as you would expect a family to look. But they weren't innocent at all. Instead, they were smuggling a massive amount of cartel cash. A husband, wife, and three children pull up to the border crossing in a white SUV. They say they've been in the United States for around an hour and were shopping for school supplies. Their story seems to check out until the border workers noticed scratching on the trunk and tampering around the windshield wipers. Because the car is new and the scratches look out of place, they decide to investigate further. Upon opening the hood, they notice a panel at the back that appears to be a wall. By bending it open, they discovered 26 packages containing at least $400,000. The border workers said they would then tow the car away. I know that's a sneeze. That's like nothing but like a little, I, I didn't even a dent, bro. Not even a dent to the cartel, but that, to me, that's still a lot of money. Into the seizure lot for further checks and spend the next five or six hours counting the money. Number 12. Drone smugglers caught on camera. It goes without saying that prison isn't going to be a fun time. You don't have the freedom to do anything you please. So some criminals get creative with how they attempt to smuggle contraband into the prison's four walls. Corrections officers expect this, though, so they are always on guard. In 2017, the Ministry of Justice released footage showing a gang using a drone to deliver contraband items to the tune of between 600,000 and 1 million pounds into the prison. Craig Hickenbottom, the ringleader, organized everything from behind bars. As a result of his actions, he was given an extra seven years and two months in prison. The footage shows two people climbing a fence with a yellow bag and a drone. They then proceed to strap the cargo with fishing line to the drone. They flew it from a nearby field over a hedge and into the prison grounds. They were caught on camera several times, taking in items like weapons, drugs, phones, and even a free view box so the prisoners could catch up on their favorite shows. Cameras inside the prison showed a ringleader with an improvised hook. With it, he caught the line attached to the drone to bring in the goodies. According to the officer that caught them, the ringleader had organized at least 50 flights. Number 11. Snakes taped to smuggler's body. It's not just cash, drugs, and gold that get smuggled from one place to another. It can also be animals. A 22-year-old Norwegian man had been pulled aside for a spot check, and customs officers noticed a tarantula casually cruising around one of his bags. That was a red flag for the customs officers, who pulled the man aside to carry out a more thorough check. They may have expected a few more spiders, but they discovered a whole lot more than that. Instead, the man had 14 non-venomous royal pythons rolled up in socks and taped around his torso. But that wasn't all. Each of his legs had small tins strapped to them, each containing a single albino leopard gecko. Before being able to leave the town of Christiansand after arriving from Denmark by ferry, the man was arrested. Unfortunately, animal smuggling is all too common, particularly in Norway. There are many prohibited species of animals, so people attempt to bring them in from other countries in some unique ways. We can't imagine this guy got off too lightly. I'm surprised they survived, though. Just looking at it, it just don't look like, but he probably knew what he was doing. He definitely wasn't trying to jeopardize his money, so 
I guarantee he knew what he was doing. Number 10, man in wife's suitcase. <laughs> yeah. Jail sentences can I remember this one. be tough on families. While you're outside living your life, your loved one is locked up with very few things to keep them entertained or happy. But if there's one thing you shouldn't do, it's try and smuggle them out. After all, they do the crime, they do the time. Maria Del Mar Arjona was a pregnant 19-year-old woman whose husband was serving a 20-year jail sentence for various crimes at a Chetumal prison. On a conjugal visit, she took a large suitcase with her, which initially didn't raise any suspicions. After all, she was staying with him, so she needed clothes, right? But as she went to leave, guards noticed that she was struggling with her suitcase a bit. It seemed heavier and more awkward on its wheels. The guards also noted that Maria seemed a little nervous. If you were just carrying your clothing, that probably wouldn't be the case. Before she could leave the main doors, she was stopped. Inside her bag was her husband, who was just wearing his socks and underpants. He was promptly sent back to his cell, and we're gonna take a guess here and say those conjugal visits were no longer allowed. Number 9. Man Inside Car Seat Border officers have to be at their very best at any time of the day or night. If they aren't, they may just miss some of the crazy ways that people try and smuggle goods and people over the border. In March, an 18-year-old U.S. citizen was stopped at the Calexico West Port Entry at around 1 a.m. in a black Mitsubishi. Something must have seemed off to officers because they sent the driver and her vehicle for further inspection. On the surface, nothing seemed amiss. She was crossing the border and was the sole occupant in the car. But once the border officers got the canine team involved, they quickly realized that wasn't the case at all. The dogs were particularly interested in the rear seat. Underneath the seat cushions in a compartment that they described as non-factory was a 48-year-old Mexican national. He was taken into custody at the Imperial County Jail and the woman was awaiting criminal proceedings. According to the CBP Director of Field Operations for San Diego, Pete Flores, I'm convinced though, a lot of these Border Patrol officers, they get lucky, bro. And so, because this is very, very creative, bro. <laughs> I know me. If I'm standing on patrol, I'm not. I'm not catching that. I'm not gonna catch that at all. Like you, you if I'm on on post, you getting by me, bro. I got to be honest with you. As their national security mission was to protect the American homeland from threats. He said this was an example of inhumane tactics used to circumvent our laws. Number eight, drugs in car seats. Drugs continue to be a massive problem around the world, so border patrols do their best to stop them from being smuggled from one country into another. It's their eye for detail that led them to uncover around $200,000 worth of drugs hidden inside a car seat. In 2017, border officers had stopped a vehicle at around 9 a.m. at the El Centro border. While they were inspecting it, the K-9 unit alerted officers that something was amiss. The driver, aged 42, was requested to undergo a secondary inspection. That was when they managed to find five sealed packages of drugs in the vehicle's rear passenger seats. I think I want to bet it's going to be cocaine. In total, there were around 12.5 pounds of drugs with a street value of close to $200,000. The driver of the vehicle was a Mexican citizen and they were turned over to the Drug Enforcement Administration along with the narcotics and vehicle. Prior to that discovery, border officers at the El Centro sector border had seized hundreds of pounds of drugs in a single year. No matter how well these smart smugglers think they have hidden things, border officers almost always find them. Number 7. Phones strapped to a body. A lot of things are banned in China, like violent video games, fireworks, and some books like Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Why? But do you know what else is banned? The act of smuggling. Why? Why ban that? Phones. Phones and electronics tend to be far more expensive in mainland China than in regions nearby like Hong Kong. 
So, to save a few bucks, some people hire people to smuggle electronics in from outside of mainland China, or they do it themselves. They can then avoid paying import tax and sell them for a profit. But sometimes, people who do that get caught. In 2015, a man was arrested at China's border with a whopping 94 iPhones strapped to his body. He had used plastic bags and tape to strap 6 and 6 plus Apple iPhones to his torso, calves, thighs, and crotch. Apparently, officials had noticed he was walking funny and stopped him. They then seized the phones and held the man in custody. You'd be walking funny too if you had nearly a hundred phones attached to your body. Sometimes it's hard enough trying to carry around one. Number 6. Live Hummingbirds in Trousers if you've ever sat next to a nervous flyer, you would notice they tend to fidget, sweat, and keep an eye on the closest exit. But if you happen to see a Dutch traveler moving around in his seat back in 2011, then that wasn't why he was fidgeting. He had live hummingbirds in his pants. Yeah, that's right, birds in his pants. Authorities noticed that the man was acting suspiciously. You would be too if you were carrying more than just your luggage. French customs officers then detained him at the Rochambeau Airport in Cayenne, French Guinea. When they held the man aside, they found over a dozen live hummingbirds wrapped up in pouches that he had sewn into the front of his... Yo, <laughs> he had them next to his manhood. Hummingbirds ain't want to be around that, bro. <laughs> it's like, yo... Get me, get me out of here now. Pants. The little parcels were secured in place with cloth tape to stop the birds from flitting about while in his pants. But we can only imagine that those beaks could have done a number on his legs. They didn't appear to have been... Bump his legs. That'll do a number on your manhood. Them beaks just poking. You just... That's how you be sitting there the entire time. ...sedated during the flight, but the birds seemed to be alive. Apparently, this wasn't their first rodeo either. He had been convicted before for smuggling hummingbirds. It's unknown whether he was sentenced this time around, but we can only imagine that would have been the likely outcome. Number 5. Truckload of Ammo in the southernmost city of Texas, Brownsville, stolen cars are often used for smuggling contraband. So there's a special investigations unit set up for car thefts and narcotics to investigate reports of vehicles being used in smuggling activities. Our unit, special investigations unit, consists of primarily auto theft and narcotics. In one particular case, officers inspect a suspicious pickup truck in a lot that they suspect will be exported to Mexico. At first glance, it looks like an ordinary pickup truck, but something is hiding within it that they possibly weren't expecting. The canine unit alerts them to something around the truck bed area. They notice that the tailgate is welded shut and the bed liner has been altered. The base of the liner isn't flat and there are loose and new looking bolts keeping it in place. Once they remove the liner, they find thousands of loose ammunition, as well as magazines and a few guns. The truck bed is about three inches deep with loose ammo. The officers definitely have their work cut out for them, as they have to count each piece of ammo and separate it into the various sizes. While it is a- I'd have been pissed, that sucks. What, what type of reward is that for that, this type of bus I'm bringing in? Massive haul, they say it's a mere fraction of what people attempt to smuggle into and out of the US. Number four. Man dresses as car seat. While not smuggling. Yeah, this dude is low key famous, bro. He done been in a lot of smuggling videos we done seen now. Smuggling per se, this is a hilarious attempt at hiding a person so a vehicle can look like it's driving itself. A man dresses as a car seat, and other drivers and pedestrians are confused about whether the van's driving itself. The goal of this experiment is to gather research for autonomous vehicles. The man behind the wheel wants to get an idea of how people respond to driverless vehicles. What immediately became apparent is that when the vehicle stops at pedestrian crossings, some give the vehicle a wave to thank it for stopping. They don't notice that there isn't anyone in it. The Ford has two white lights at the front that mean different things. When it's moving side to side, that means the car will stop. If it starts blinking, it means it's it's gonna start up again. 
Autonomous vehicle manufacturers want to create an international language that shows people what a car is planning on doing so they can plan their next moves accordingly. Researchers who traveled around in these self-driving vehicles collected about 150 hours and 1,800 miles of data to review at a later date. Number 3. Hmm. Smugglers leave Jeep on border fence. Illegal border crossings are nothing unusual, but what is unusual is this method for trying to cross a border, using a vehicle and ramps. In 2012, suspected smugglers had set up ramps at the U.S.-Mexico border in the southeast corner of California by the Imperial Sand Dunes. They then attempted to drive an SUV over the 14-foot border fence using those ramps. As you can imagine, it didn't go to plan. They got the Jeep stuck at the very top of the barrier. Agents at the border spotted the vehicle and noticed two smugglers trying to free it when they approached. They abandoned the car and ran into Mexico to escape being caught. The border officials said the Jeep was empty, but it was likely filled with contraband before it got stuck on the fence. Believe it or not, this isn't the first time people have tried to drive over the border wall. That was a nice try, though. Definitely a dope attempt. <laughs> It had been successfully pulled off the year before, but the vehicle's occupants were immediately captured. Given the lack of vegetation around this part of the border, it's not exactly easy to camouflage a massive vehicle climbing the border wall. You're just bound to get caught, so we wouldn't call these smugglers very smart. Number 2. Drugs in Fake Belly Smugglers are getting smarter and smarter. We hate to think just- Ah, oh, who would- who would question a pregnant woman, man? Like, y'all put Border Patrol officers, man. Y'all are just relentless, bro. Who questions a pre- See, again, if I was on post, I'm not- Yeah, I wouldn't have caught that. How many contraband items have been missed due to how many unique methods they have for hiding them? However, just as smugglers are getting smarter, so too are airport workers and border officers. La cual pretendía sacar dos kilos de cocaína del aeropuerto internacional El Dorado. In September 2020, a pregnant Canadian citizen was lining up for a routine pat-down as she attempted to leave Colombia. But as it turns out, she wasn't pregnant at all. The customs officer noticed how her belly felt cold and hard, which is not what you would expect with skin and warm blood. It was it wasn't a baby in there, it was four pounds of drugs. Amazingly, the stomach looked real. When she lifted her shirt, it was a skin-colored stomach with a belly button and stretch lines where you would expect to see them on a real... I disagree, the stomach don't look real, it looks a little bit fake to me. Maybe you have to look at it in person, but for me it's just, it's looking like fake pregnant mother to be. Even viewing her side on with her shirt up in the video footage, she still looks like a pregnant woman, not a drug smuggler. Have they got it wrong? Not at all. The baby belly was silicone and it was strapped to her body with packages of drugs hidden inside. Number 1. Drugs in Implants Whoa. It's amazing the lengths that smugglers will go to for a payday. Even going so far as to have surgical procedures to hide the drugs inside their body. Airport security always go the extra mile with passengers arriving from Bogota, Colombia. This destination is known for its drug trafficking, so many smugglers go to extreme lengths to bring drugs back with them. One woman probably went a little further than most by smuggling drugs inside her implants. After an airport security check in Spain, the woman's story wasn't adding up. She was offering vague answers, so they knew they had to find out more. They immediately thought she might be carrying drugs in her luggage or on her body. They were wrong. She was carrying them in her body. After being patted down by a female officer, they discovered bandages with blood on them underneath her. These were covering incisions. The woman said she had new implants and they must not have healed properly. Police weren't convinced and she was taken to a hospital where a medical team removed bags from each which contained three pounds of drugs worth around $35,000 a pound. These smugglers clearly have a lot of smarts, which may- Dang, bro, you putting drugs, like that's a new one for me. I thought I heard them all, man, but y'all keep getting better and better. In the implants though, behind the boobies, you messing up the boobies? Come on, bro. 
We can't be doing that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Y'all get at me in the comment section, man. I'm telling y'all, bro, they are getting smarter. And these border, border Patrol officers are getting luckier. And I'm going to leave it at that. All right? Y'all leave me a message. Uh, 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 holla at me in the uh, comment section, man. Check the description box for the vlog channel. Subscribe if you're new. Definitely leave a like and stick around and stay tuned to the next reaction of my peace. Y'all stay solid. Hey.